Welcome to the first extra point of 2017. Now, before we get into our New Year's predictions, we want to take a look back at some of the predictions from last year, from our first show of 2016. Which was a thing that definitely happened. Apologies in advance for our outdated wardrobe. Oh boy. <laughs> Welcome to the first extra point of 2016. It's going to be a huge year in sports and we've got some predictions for you. It's going to be a huge, great year, especially in the NBA. The finals, I see it being the Warriors and the Cavs, okay? And listen, the Warriors are going to just spring out to a lead, 3-1. It's going to look like Cleveland cannot come back. Then out of nowhere, LeBron is just the hero and he leads the Cavs to victory in Game 7, bringing Cleveland their first championship in 52 years. That's pretty amazing. I have the same prediction almost in baseball. Major League Baseball, it's going to uh, put itself on its head. The Cubs, Cubs. after a 108-year drought, are going to win the, the, the championship, and they're going to do it in seven games after going down 3-1 to Cleveland. A little bit of a tie-in right Indians. there. I see it happen. Wow. Breaking the curse. Oh, yeah. And, of course, elected president. I think it's obvious it's going to be Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. That's an obvious one, yeah. Any other predictions you want to make? Those are the major ones. Maybe Xander Bogarts hits 294? Yeah, that sounds right to me. Okay. How many did we get? All of them? Wow. That'd be good. Uh, tune in next year for our previous year's predictions. We're pretty good. <laughs> Welcome to The Extra Point, I'm Rob King. And I'm Caitlin Bitsagai. So for our New Year's show, we actually found a few of the uh, New Year's resolutions for some top athletes. So uh, here are some of them. Carmelo Anthony, learn teammates' names. Rex Ryan, get that resume up to date. Odell Beckham Jr., never date Annette again. Gronk, party harder. Hugh Jackson, win one. Cam Newton, clash less. Kyle Schwarber, play in a non-World Series game. Warriors, trade for someone who can score. Simone Biles, be a teenager. It's your last chance. Romo, stay classy. Dak Prescott, appreciate Romo's classiness. Calipari, spend time with those freshmen before they leave forever. Ryan Lochte, same as every year, read one book. Those are our resolutions. What are some resolutions for your favorite athletes? Let us know in the comments. We'll read some in the next show. Ooh. I resolved to do it. Regular viewers of the show tune in for one reason and one reason only, and it's not me. It's not Caitlin. No way. It's the good Dell puns that we do for the wild card Dell every single week. We know you guys love it. We love doing it. So uh, right now we're going to recap some of them uh, to see which ones we think were the best. The Jack Dell. Jack Del Rio. The Adele. The Odell. That makes sense to me. The Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That was historical and fun. The, Della Reese. I love that one, okay. Uh, didn't really get the best reception. You know. But like, touched by an angel, I tied it in. I thought it was great. Whatever. 90s actress Della Reese. Whatever. Odell. Dinner Bell Dell. Good Deldo. Dildo? Which I, one did we do? I think we did Good Dildo. It should have been Good Deldo. Really screwed that one up. Oops. Uh, but we got Dildo into the show and that was, that really helped with SEO for some reason. You guys are weird. Uh, the Welcome. Good Dale. Dale Earnhardt. This uh, guy is fast as Dale. Yeah, uh, head writer of The Kicker, Zach Phillips, did not like that the, joke. That's the least popular one. In Borderline the hated it, didn't get it, and he, he took a lot of time to let me know he was displeased with it. So, thanks a lot, Zach. We're getting reactions is the point. <laughs> the Wildell, the Wild Cardell, C-A-R-R, yeah. Dell. Husband of Giselle Dell, I love that one. I thought it was the worst. I still do. It's funny. Doesn't make sense. The Le'Veon Dell. That one was good. Rhymes with Bell. Simple, classic. And the terrible Tao Dell, like Tao Well, it was not mm. not good. Terrible, in it fact. Was, yeah, it was, it was clever. I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's the end of our puns. It's nothing we'll more. Go back to, into our pun cave. We've given you all we can this week. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Rob King. I'm Caitlin Bitsagai. Tune in next week to more extra point on Mondays and more great Dell puns. Or some Dell puns. There'll be a there'll be a one pun at least. <laughs> Um, anything else we want to predict? Those are the big ones. Maybe Zandy... <laughs> <laughs> Zandy Pandies, Bogerts. Zandy Pandy Bogerts. I'm Zandy leaving. Bojangles. I can't do more show. <laughs> <laughs> I love Zandy. <laughs>
<laughs> Maybe Zandy. <laughs> okay. I'm Zandy. No <laughs> 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 that was Zandy Bogarts. <laughs> <laughs>